then it'll, you'll be able to see some water right here. Now you're probably thinking it's just stationary, it doesn't move. Well, no. If I break the chair, look at that, it actually flows. Welcome to a video where I show you some of the greatest hacks of Minecraft. All right, so basically the first hack is if you know something about Minecraft, you would know that honey blocks aren't full blocks. They have one pixel missing from a regular block. So, basically, if I aim like right at the middle, okay, just like this, and then I take my bow and I shoot it, look at that. You see this? It came all the way over here. Now, let me go into survival and get some bows and creative. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We have some uh, arrows. And now, if I just aim right at the middle. So basically, it's the clear part. And I shoot it. Okay, one second. And then I shoot it. Boom. It went so far. I I don't even know. Okay, yeah, see here it is, right there. So it goes pretty far. And um, if you want to build like a secret base or something, you can um, clearly use this trick. So how do you think you're gonna open this door? Probably a, with a button or a lever or something like that. But there is absolutely no button. Seriously? Okay, there we go. I silenced my notifications. And there is also not a lever and I'm sorry if I sound weird. It's just that it's like really cold here and my voice is just like gone. Also, wait until the end to know why I haven't uploaded in so long. So basically, how this works is, again, you need a bow and an arrow. Now I'm in creative, so I don't need an arrow. So right here, aim right there in the middle of the door and the stair. Not like that. Oh, sorry, not here. Right here. Boom. Okay, I accidentally picked the arrow up. So now if I shoot it right there, I'll flip. Okay, there we go. Now as you go in, you just pick it up and come in. And if you want to go out, you just press the flip. You just press the button and go out. Now let me show you how to build this. It's like really simple. Okay, so first of all, of course, you're gonna need a house, okay? Just like this. One sec. Okay, boom, just like that. Now, just make it so that the design of your house is so that you have stairs as like a little overhang, okay? Just like this. Now, go back here, okay? And just do what I did here. Just place. Now break out all of these blocks. And actually you don't need to break out all these blocks. You can place all these blocks. And then you just place your pressure plate right there. You go out and place the door facing the right way. Don't place it the wrong way. It'll get triggered. And you just go inside. And place your button. And boom. You're done. And you're gonna need a bow. So basically the pressure plate gets triggered when you hit it with a bow and arrow right in the middle. Okay, just like that. Now when you go in, you pick up the arrow and you go in. And then it'll automatically close behind you. So it's a pretty, pretty sick door unless and until your friend decides to mine your door and get in. So if they decide to do that, that's gonna be unfortunate. Alright, so for our next one, we are gonna have some water in the nether. We're gonna be breaking the game. Yep, we are gonna be breaking the game. Let me show you how. Okay, here we go. We are in the nether, okay? The good old nether. The video I made last was on this, okay? This is the same spot. Now, let me just break the game a little bit for you, okay? So now, place down a chest or a slab or anything that can be waterlogged. Now, you're gonna have to be in creative. Now, the way you get this debug stick is by using this command slash give okay your name so i'll just put this and then debug stick okay boom it's right there you press enter you get a debug stick now do i place it like this or 
Okay, so place down your chest, shift, left click until it says waterlogged falls, and then while shifting, right click, and then it'll, you'll be able to see some water right here. Now you're probably thinking it's just stationary, doesn't move. Well, no. If I break the chest, look at that, it actually flows. So this is not stationary water, this is like actually water in the nether. I just broke the game. Yeah. Okay, so next up here we have a tree, okay? So now it just looks like a normal tree, okay? I'm just gonna mine it. Mm, then boom, an animal falls on my head. <laughs> so basically, uh, you'll always have that one annoying friend on your server who always cuts down all the trees and takes all the wood and you'll have none, no wood. So this is like a really, really simple prank. So you just need a shears and a sapling that uh, you can grow. Okay. So I'm gonna take an oak oak. Oh, oh. I'm gonna take an oak sapling and bone meal it. Okay. Boom. So now all of that is gone. So I'm gonna bone meal this. Okay. Boom. Now you just have to get on top of your tree. Okay. Break one block. Okay, now if there is only one leaf on top of the wood, then break the wood also. Place your anvil and then shift and then place your leaf. Okay, now boom, now your friend won't suspect anything. Then he'll just come breaking the wood. Okay, boom, and then the anvil will fall on a set. It's a pretty simple prank, but I'm gonna need some iron. Okay, so here is another prank, okay? So there is honey under the cauldron and there is a cauldron. So now if I can get inside the cauldron, hello, okay, there we go. So now how do you normally get out of the cauldron? You jump and get out. Yeah, that really isn't an option here. <laughs> that is because there is honey block under the cauldron and the honey block stops you uh, from jumping or it prevents you from jumping like a lot. So you can just like barely uh, jump as you can see. And this also works on uh, a cauldron. So if you place a cauldron on top of a honey block, just like this, and you make your friend get into it somehow without him noticing, you can put like trap doors or something. He or she won't be able to get out without, um, you know, uh, breaking the cauldron. So, it's a pretty simple prank and there is really nothing cruel to it. All right, so for this one, we're gonna have to set the difficulty to easy. Okay, boom. So now I'm gonna go into my inventory, okay? Then I'm gonna take some husks, okay? And I'm gonna spawn a bunch of them in, okay? So if you didn't know, husks, you know, they uh, don't burn in the sun, okay? Now I'm gonna go inside, I think that might actually be a little too much. And okay, I go to survival. Now I was easily able to, I was able to get through these bars pretty easily. But they won't be able to get through the bars unless and until entity cramming happens. And that's when, when there are too many mobs and they just push each other. And then they can get in, okay, see just like that, I don't want that. Now get out of here, okay. So just like that, I'm gonna set the difficulty to peaceful. Now let me show you how to uh, how you. Uh, now let me show you how to build this. Now if you didn't get it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, you just need some blocks and a lightning rod. Okay, so basically you just build your house. Hopefully your house is better than this little box over here. Okay, boom, so after you have something like this, place down two of your lightning rods on the floor and two on the ceiling, just like this. And mobs won't be able to enter, but you can enter pretty, pretty easily. And it works pretty well as you just saw. Okay, so for the next one here, we have some stuff to do with powdered snow. Okay, so I'm gonna go into survival. Put on these boots, okay? Now I'm thinking probably like what am I gonna do with these three snow buckets? Powdered snow buckets. Well, if you didn't know, when you wear any piece of leather armor, preferably boots, 
you can stand on powdered snow whereas if you don't you will sink into it and um, well you'll start freezing yeah if you didn't know that somehow and you live under a rock and you didn't know that so then here you go okay anyways what i was trying to say is when you place one powdered snow bucket and you place the other one and then you look at the bottom one so you see the cursor not the cursor the what is the thing called the the middle pointer thing the attack indicator okay so as you can see that is highlighted the bottom block now you pick that snow bucket and then you jump on top and then you pick up the bottom one again you jump on top you pick up the bottom one basically you get the point and we have a stupid wandering trader again so basically you can do this as much as you want now you're probably wondering what's the third snow bucket for now let's say you accidentally do something stupid like this then you can clutch up with it which i forgot to do <laughs> no villagers would harm in the making of this video okay so as you can see we have some normal wooden flooring right now i'm gonna blow it up boom it's gonna be blown up llamas you might want to back up yep now look at this it did not blow up the floor and it blew up the chest that was right here okay let me show you how i did this okay so basically you're gonna need some water so which i'll get a water bucket right now okay boom i have a water bucket and basically how this works is you need to like build out a floor and then you need to place water okay now you need to make sure that each like water block each block is a water source and then you need to place your slab on top because if each uh, block is not a water source then uh, it's not gonna work because see look at this if i break out these blocks okay and let's say i just place water right there okay it flows to all the blocks but look now if i place it there see it doesn't go to that one block as you can see there's like an air pocket there so you need to fill up like all the blocks and make sure it's uh, all the blocks are water locked or is a water source block and then if you blow up tnt or a creeper decides to explore your house that happens every time to me and uh, if something like that happens then um, you know this is like a really useful solution your floor won't be like blown up and all bad and yeah okay so here we have our next one okay so this as you can see is water now if i throw like a piece of uh, tinted glass from like right here look at that i am actually able to see through it like as clear as day look at that it's so clear now if you want to like uh, look under an ocean or something like that this will be like really useful okay it's just a normal day okay i'm just walking i'm chilling and boom it automatically lights up and it automatically diffuses look at that isn't that sick now this is kind of like wireless redstone but not really so when it hears a sound it'll activate and that is done through the help of skulk sensors so these you can get by using commands until 1.19 releases so the command is slash give at a or at p or at s whatever you want to do uh, basically it should give to you and uh, then uh, you need to type in skulk sensor i did that wrong you need to type in sensor only then it will show you the skulk sensor option and then you press enter and then you will get a skulk sensor now this is only available through cheats it's not available in like vanilla minecraft just yet it'll be out in the 1.19 update and look at that it automatically lights and it automatically switches off pretty sick let me show you how to do that okay now i'm not gonna build something like why did i say build build is that what i just said what the hell okay 
So I'm not gonna build something like as big as this, but just to show you guys how I did it. Basically, you need to place down your skulk sensors and then place redstone lamps on top of them, just like that. And then they will automatically light up when they hear like your footsteps. So it'll be like it's lighting up as you're walking on them. It's pretty, pretty sick. All right, now let me tell you guys why I haven't uploaded in like one week, nine days, I think it's been. And why I haven't been uploading is because I have actually been training. And what do you mean by training, you're probably asking. And what I mean by that is I've been practicing PvP, parkour, speedrunning, and all that kind of stuff, okay? And I got a speedrun world record of, not world record, I got a speedrun record of, I think, 48, 50 minutes, I think which is like I had to like redo it a lot to get like the perfect seat and I got I think about like 48 point something seconds 48 minutes something seconds and uh, for parkour I did pretty good and then speed bridging bridging and telebridging and all that stuff okay all kinds of bridging and all that stuff so I was practicing all that okay I was basically doing a lot of stuff like that so I've been off. Also, if you guys want to check out my BGMs, they're in the description. You can check out all of them. I'll catch you in the next one.